shall number one humble themselves. Yes. Amen. If we don't humble ourselves Amen. and accept the truth that we're too cold, nothing's going to change. Yes. Amen. Nothing is going to change. If we do not humble ourselves and accept and admit that we have not been doing the things of God and we have caused people to leave the church. If we do not admit, there's never going to be no change in our churches. We are not going to experience God's power back in our church because we refuse to humble ourselves. But I believe I'm talking to the believers who understand the power of humbleness. When you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, that's the time to come in and take you higher for his glory. Hallelujah, somebody. Time has come. we got to change. Time has come. we got to change. We gotta turn around. We gotta stop the lifestyle we're having. We gotta go after God. We gotta pray more. We gotta read the Bible more. For His glory. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Glory to His name. Hallelujah. We got to humble ourselves. You do not start with the end of the state, but first humble ourselves. Yeah. Amen. You have to admit that I have been called. Yeah. Yes. Amen. You have to admit that I have been working more for my flesh yes. than my spirit. All right, all right. You have to admit that you have been spending more time doing the things for your flesh and not your spirit. You have been feeding your body so much that you are growing on the outside. You are gaining more, more weight on the spirit. You are not gaining no power. You are not gaining no, no weight because we have been selfish. And now I want to remind you that time has come that we stop doing the things for ourselves and go and do things for our spirit. If you are in this room and has been a Christian for as long as you have been, you don't need to lie to nobody. Amen. You just need to tell yourself that I am cold. Uh, all right. Amen. We just, we're just going to tell the truth. It surprises me how we can be honest with our doctors for our sickness. Tell them all we feel. Tell them all that we go through. Tell them what we experience at two in the morning. We will go into the details telling our doctors everything. But when it comes to God, we act like we are okay. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. We can pay all kind of money to the doctors because we know they are going to save us from dying. We don't compromise. We don't argue. We don't ask for discount. We will pay for our doctor's bills because we know they're going to save us from dying. Come on, preacher. Right now. When we find ourselves in trouble and we have a lawyer, we will pay our lawyers anything they want us because we want them to save us from going to jail. But we come to preacher telling you how to not go to hell. You want to have an opinion of yourself. You want to compromise. Time has come. We got to stop that thing. We got to stop that thing. It is time now we admit that we are wrong. It is time we admit that the power of God has left us. We got to surrender to God. We got to ask him to forgive us. We got to ask him to come back into our life. We need his power. We need his power back. We need his power back. Hallelujah somebody. I said hallelujah somebody. 
said on your feet.